is going on, fellow viewer? This is Steampunk J here, coming at you from my humble art studio. And welcome to another edition of Steampunk J's Reacts and Draws. Hurricane Storm Tracker! Yeah! So how is everyone doing today? I hope your day is going great out there in the world, creating and everything that involves creativity right here. As for me, I just like to sit in my art studio and just draw and draw until my heart contents right here. So um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you that are, have already been a subscriber and have just been following my adventure all the way through, I am continuing on this art challenge right here, the Hurricane Storm Tracker of 2020 to 20. 21 and what I do is basically it's an art challenge that I decided to do for myself which basically I follow my hurricanes throughout the entire 2020 to the 2021 season and for every game they play I do a drawing based off of based off of it so game number 37 drawing number 37 Woo! <laughs> wow! Oh, trust me, uh, this is surprising for me that I made it this far, but uh, but for game number 37, I'd just like to talk about the game, how I felt and everything, and how it actually correlates to the drawing that I've done right here. So, uh, game number 37, uh, my Carolina Hurricanes are going up against the Dallas Stars in game number two after a devastating loss in the game uh, yesterday, the following day. So. Uh, so can we redeem ourselves from the Dallas Stars right here? Can we do it? So, uh, I just want to let y'all know that the majority of the season was played by our two goalies. Uh, our goalie number 39, uh, Alexander Nijakovic, and number 47, James Reimer. Those two goalies have just been putting on uh, an excellent season so far behind the net and just keeping our team afloat when it comes to maintaining our spot, maintaining our seat as the Central Division champions. Only six teams, I think it's six teams, or no, 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 oh, with only eight teams that make up that division at the time, we are holding ourselves to the number one spot within our division right here. And maybe possibly within the whole Eastern Conference. I don't know, but I would like to think so. I will have to do more research on that one right here. But, uh, but our team will not be stopped by the Dallas Stars right here. So we'll see right here. But I will say this uh, for my boys, uh, Peter, Peter, like I said, like I said before, Peter, uh, no, uh, uh, Nigel Kovic and, and Ramier, uh, they've been doing a very good job this year. In this game, uh, we actually see the return of our number one goalie, uh, number 34, Peter um, Peter Morazic has returned. So what do I mean by number one is basically uh, in the game of hockey, you have uh, multiple goalies, but there's always the number one goalie that plays the majority of the games as like your number one guy. And Peter Morazic uh, has been our number one goalie uh, since the start of the season. However, he had a, a wrist injury in the beginning of the, uh, of the season. So he had to uh, stay out of the majority of the spotlight while uh, Nigel Kovic and Ramier had to pick up the slack as being the goal goalies while uh, Morazic was busy uh, recovering. So uh, in this game, uh, i just like to give my props to uh, Peter Morazic, number 34, for making a full recovery and making a return. And we haven't seen him since January 30th. So uh, we'll see how he does in this game right here. So. Uh, in the net, uh, it's red jersey night. Uh, Peter Morazic makes his makes his beautiful return, and uh, the first period has just been the Hurricanes and the Dallas Stars just going at each other, just trying to get that lucky shot. They're both playing uh, to the the hardest out there. Even though the Hurricanes have dominated, like I said, when it comes to. Uh, the most shots on goal, whoever has the most puck possession. But whenever you see the Dallas Stars make an attempt, they are coming very, very, very close. And especially when you have a goalie like uh, Peter Morazic who hasn't uh, had that much uh, time out there on the ice ever since his injury, uh, they're really putting our goalie, uh, Peter, to the test. So it is, uh, first off, 
I am proud of a Peter Morazic. He was holding his own out there. He is back. I can tell you that he is making the, the greatest saves out there like he used to. Even though he had like an injury on his hand. Uh, he is he is back. He is doing good. He is keeping our team afloat. And that's been pretty much the summary that I can give you throughout the first period of the game. And no goals were scored on either side. We go into second period and we're just playing our hearts out. But I will say... Uh, Jordan Martinhook, <laughs> the assistant captain of the Hurricanes right here, he pulls a breakaway attempt and scores a goal for the Hurricanes, making it one to nothing. and that shot was beautiful. Beautiful. That shot was the most beautiful goal I have ever seen in my life right here. So Jordan Martinhook scores uh, the first goal for the Hurricanes right here, putting us in the lead one to nothing. And I was expecting the Hurricanes to just like, you know, follow up on it with considering that the goal took place just one minute after the start of the second period right here. So that was a quick uh, attack on the Dallas Stars. So once again, the majority of the second period is just them going back and forth, just trying to uh, one-up each other on the ice with both teams not finding any luck. But I will once again give props uh, to Peter Morazic, just holding his own, making his, some amazing saves, actually challenging the players like, you know, I dare you to score to shoot on me because you know I will stop it uh, 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 like uh, you know stop it attempts right there so uh, but man it's, it's been an intense period considering that you know we're trying to hold on to our lead one to nothing if they were to skull on us tie game and then I would be wondering how we're ever going to make a comeback right here uh, we go into third period and third period has just been non-stop brutal both sides are just trying to figure out how they're going to score a goal on one another. Uh, the Dallas Stars, they, they pose a, a pretty... Uh like they posed a really tough challenge uh, this time around that we faced them because normally they're like easy pickings in the last a couple of games we played but no they're trying to uh, embarrass us they're trying to one up us they're trying to make a statement that you know hey we're the, we're a legit NHL team we're not going to be taken lightly we're going to show you how we are and we're going to show it how we play on your home ice right here so it it is a pretty intense matchup uh, considering that you know that hey we only got one one goal on them and we're they're not giving us any opportunities especially when you see how the Dallas Stars have treated us once they decided to pull the empty net procedure uh, they take the goalie away from the net and they put in one extra player out there on the ice now one extra player is is difficult enough but you do have an empty net on the other side that's just waiting to be scored on. And there was a moment where I thought that we would get that chance when the Hurricanes actually carried the puck on over to the Dallas Stars end. And they were just trying their hardest to try to score a goal. Empty net was there throughout, throughout the last seconds of the game. And, you know, we just couldn't find a way to just uh, overpower the defense team. But in the end, we won. In the end, I will take that victory. A one to nothing shutout. This is a really intense game. I don't think I've ever seen a game where, you know, we uh, win just one to nothing. I've never seen a scoreboard like that, one to nothing. But in the end, it's a win, it's a victory, and that means that our goalie that has been missing in action for a while due to an injury, uh, Peter Morazic, has made one hell of a return. It is good to have our number one goalie back. But I will have to say that uh, Peter Morazic, even though he won his, his first game coming back, uh, I will not fault the team if they don't play him uh, in the next game. I will not fault the team at all if they if they just kind of hold him back because both Nitrokovic and Raymer have been great. I would keep those guys out because they're already uh, seasoned veterans out there on the ice. They already know how to, how to play the game. They're comfortable out there. And they both have done really good. They kept us into the Central uh, Division uh, Championships uh, for standings for a while. So it's good to have our, our, our Mrazic, even though it's unfortunate that he had to miss the majority of the season because of an injury. But it's good to have him back. It is so good to have him back. And of course, the drawing is basically uh, Cyclone Chan. I just got like, you know, it's getting warm. Well, where I'm at, 
And so I just decided to draw her just wearing like a beautiful summer day hat, like, you know, like a garden girl, basically. And she is just rocking out in that style. And it's all thanks to game number 37 of the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Dallas Stars Storm Tracker. And I will see you in game number 38. Let us go switch up to another team, shall we? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like the drawing that I made, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, if you want to see me react to more games and make more drawings in the future, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and hit that notification bell to always stay notified. To all my fellow artists and art fans out there, this is Steampunk J. And always remember to keep on Drawing!